Hello, Greg. Anna Daros, you look amazing as always. I leave for Maple Creek tomorrow. It's part of my routine when I have writer's block. Just because so much of my books are inspired by it. How about I, I give you right tomorrow morning? <laughs> what else are friends for, right? <laughs> friends. How long has Maple Creek been a real town? It was one of the first settlements in the West. My parents helped turn the site into an open-air museum. Now my best friend Kayla and her mom Linda run the place together. Kayla? When did you know you were in love? <gasps> Hi. Carter is our new blacksmith. Diana is the top romance novelist. A romance novelist scared of falling in love. How ironic. People just aren't interested in coming to Maple Creek anymore. We may have to close. So let's make them interested. Didn't your new book just come out? You could do a signing right here. Linda, I'm hardly Santa Claus. No, you're not. Although I'd love to see you try to climb down a chimney. I have a message from a guy named Greg, and he wants to know if you want to get married. What? I made that last part up, but hey, if you play your cards right, I bet I'll pop the question before you know it. The only thing about to get popped around here is you. I was telling Diana that Carter is single and available. I like Greg, remember? Do you like Greg, or do you like the fantasy of Greg? Hey, the storm's getting worse. I wanted to make sure you had enough firewood for the night. It's Mr. Biceps coming for a visit. <sighs> Just get out and leave me alone. Maybe you should wait here until the storm blows over. What made you want to become a writer? I love words and the power they have to move us. I know we'll draw new visitors if we hold a dance in here. What about auctioning off a dance with the novelist herself? Make it in. Ta-da! Um, Carter, this is... Mr. Happily Ever After? Greg, what are you doing here? I came here for you. I'm driving back to San Francisco. I want you to come with me. Tell me I don't have a chance with you and I'll leave you alone. Two of the most wonderful men want to be with me. What if I can't make up my mind? You're no longer the little girl who hides behind her books. You're a woman who writes all about hearts. So remember your heart. I think everything you ever wanted is right here in Maple Creek. Carter! I'm not in love with Greg. I confuse my romantic fantasies for the real thing. I guess that means I do have a chance.